A Black Myth of Wukong first hands on preview. I think I remember watching this game like a year ago, maybe. Since Black Myth Wukong released its first trailer three years ago, every year on August 20th, the developer. Three years ago? Surely not. Developer Game Science has shown something new about the development progress of the game. Oh, okay. However, what's different <laughs> this year. <laughs> Bro, I thought three years just disappeared. Okay, so. It was probably a year. Is that we finally got- That was pretty cool. They got like, uh, this game was pretty awesome. I think it's like Dark Souls, but you're just Wukong instead of, you know, just some random guy. It looked pretty interesting. Big old bears, big old tigers and shit. Got to play it. My 45 minute demo provided three boss fights and a relatively complete chapter experience. It's worth noting that after the event, the dev team made some adjustments to the trial version based on the feedback and suggestions received during the closed door evaluation that I participated in. As a result, my experience may differ slightly from what others experienced in Hangzhou and at Gamescom in Cologne. Gamescom. Is there a convention? Due to time limitations, this trial oh. version did not include the level up system. However, it provided players with a level set up. of skills and equipment that will be obtained in the mid game of the final version. In addition to basic light and heavy attacks, the protagonist's attack stances can be switched between three different postures, including smash form, pillar form, and thrust form at any time. Furthermore, spells such as what was that? I looked at my phone for like literally two seconds. What the hell? What? So three stances, but what are they? Again? Attack stances can be switched between three different postures, including smash form, pillar form, and thrust form at any time. Furthermore, spells such as immobilize, stone solid. Bro, I want to see that airplay. What can you do with airplay? Wukong, like in Dota, that is so much fun. The way he like hops trees in his airplay. I never really got to mess around with that too much. Uh, with like a Wukong because I usually played Smite and on Smite you just fly which is um, you know cool and you turn into animals or whatever but I know one thing about Wukong is like he loves to just like um, he's mischievous in the sky yo like I just remember seeing like drawings and stories and this motherfucker is always like in the trees and he comes down and bop <laughs> he's just like it's almost like he's a protector of tree. King of Fire and the Pluck of Many are also available for use. There are also two transformation abilities. One turns you into the previously seen Fireblade Wolf, and the other results in a creature with poisonous attacks. Additionally, players will find and collect certain potions for in-game use. It's important to note that these configurations may vary slightly depending on the different stages. The first boss is named Centipede Gwai, and it appeared in the first 13-minute gameplay trailer released in 2020. This time, it awaits Ew. players in a horrible cave. Its attack methods include rolling and heavy punches, like as well as the ability to release poisonous gas. This gas inflicts a slow-acting poison effect on the protagonist, causing gradual health loss, which can only oh, no. be cured by consuming antidote potions. However, this... Bro, oh, can you move him though? Can you like track him away or is he like stuck when he does it? This boss is considered relatively easy overall in terms of difficulty for this trial version. After becoming familiar with its attack patterns, most players should be able to defeat it easily. The second boss is the Macaque Chief, as seen in the Snow Mountain of Monkey? the 2021 trailer. This time, players can experience the sequence just as it was shown. You can observe how the protagonist's movements and combat in the snow-covered terrain dynamically affect the accumulation of snow in... Wait, huh? You just hit him with a counter? It was like a fat counter. What was that? How the protagonist's movement, like a combo break, and combat in the snow-covered terrain dynamically affect the accumulation of snow in real time. This battle also holds a secret. If the macaque chief's health is reduced to half within a certain time, it triggers his second phase. To encounter the right. monkey with wings, the protagonist needs to venture deeper into the scene. Monkey in with this wings? state, the monkey's aggression, attack range, and attack oh, patterns all increase significantly. It gains the ability to launch aerial assaults against the player, making for a thrilling and intense encounter. The third boss is the- That guy looks pretty cool. I thought he was a monkey at first, and then I thought he was just some random, like, uh, Almost like a crow, crow creature, you know? But, uh, yeah, I think it was cool. Was it a damn tiger? 
Tiger Vanguard, who appeared in the 2020. I was like King's dad or something. Me too trailer. Holy shit, he looks sick. <laughs> I like the big old bear and the big old tigers, man. That shit. The third. Even the monkey. I don't know. Something about the elemental animals is cool. Boss is the. T or not elemental, but you know, uh, gigantor. Tiger Vanguard, who appeared in the 2022 trailer. Holy. This time, the Tiger Vanguard awaits players as challenges in a blood pool in a temple. According to the Bonk. developers, this boss will play a role in the storyline as an NPC who imparts the stone solid skill to the protagonist. Therefore, you will witness him huh? using this skill during the battle. One highlight of this scene is- Wait, did he just say when you beat him, you get it? So you have to beat this guy and then you can turn to stone? Two trailer. This time, the Tiger Vanguard awaits players' as challenges in a blood pool in a temple. According to the developers, this boss will play a role in the storyline as an NPC who imparts the stone solid skill to the protagonist. Therefore, you will witness him using this skill during the battle. One highlight of this scene is how the water reacts and changes dynamically with the actions in combat. The Tiger Vanguard boasts the highest attack speed and aggression among the three bosses. Oh. Not only does he possess both physical and spell-based attack abilities, but his combo attacks also deal Good substantial Yo. damage, making it easy to fall victim to his assault. The chapter experience provided during the Hanju cool. event that I played the game at is called Purple Cloud Mountain. The overall scenery is somewhat reminiscent of the in-game footage shown in the 2022 trailer. This is a relatively complete level experience, featuring various environments such as forests, oh. villages, and temples. There are also as many as four or five- Bro, this shit looks crazy. They've been working on this for like three years. That makes sense, yo. This detail looks fucking crazy, from like the animal furs to the blood pool reflections to the- uh, just like the world you're running around, man. This shit. I have types of enemies. Bro, they really like, they're working on this shit, yo. He's waiting for players along the way. Don't underestimate these minions as they also possess the ability to deliver a fatal blow to the protagonist with a single strike. There's also a detour path in the level that players might not easily find where they can encounter a hidden boss. Beetle? The Poisonous King. This creature Beetle. has the appearance of a scorpion-like monster. After engaging in conversation with it, players need to break the wine barrel beside it to start the battle. This hidden boss presents the highest level of difficulty in this trial version. It what do you possesses get? extremely fast attacks, deals heavy damage, and boasts skills that inflict poison on the player. Is that it took me nearly an hour of fighting to defeat it, and there were several instances where I succumbed to poison before being able to use the <laughs> cure potion in time. And while Megaloo? Black Myth shares some <laughs> similarities... <laughs> Wait, that was like Mega Boss, uh, extra boss thing. No Mega Loot. ...than its mechanics with the Dark Souls Black. series, the combat feel here is quite distinct from any other similar games. In my opinion, this distinction arises from the fact that, in other Souls-like games, players typically wielded weapons like swords or axes, with the grip at the weapon's end during combat. Mega Bow However, in Black Myth Wukong, the main weapon is a staff, primarily held in the middle. The grip on the staff changes according to different moves, creating a varied rhythm and action, even changing the length of the staff in combat. The impact feedback from the staff striking enemies is quite distinctive as well. Coupled with the support from the spell system during combat, Black Myth Wukong stands apart as an action RPG with a unique feel, differentiating itself from other ARPG and action games that have come before. Ultimately- Honestly, like, um, looking at it, it kind of does look like a Dark Souls game, just with like the bosses and, you know, like it has that same kind of rhythm, but it reminds me more of like, um, uh, these old PS3 games, I, I don't remember if it's like Zong, Zong Dynasty, I remember it's Dynasty something, there's like, bro, there's so many of those games, there's like seven, eight of them or some shit, but it kind of reminds me of that, like, it's, it definitely seems like it has its own unique kind of flair, more like a, like a, like a, like a, um, yeah, just like those Dynasty games, that's really all I can think about right now. Despite developer Game Science providing a substantial amount of gameplay content in this trial version, there are still numerous questions waiting to be answered. For example, 
whether the protagonist possesses any other weapons, how the level up system works and what the skill tree looks like, and how many Oh, surely not. If there's different weapons, it's probably not like too far off from like, just like a, like a, like a, like a different staff. I don't think I've ever seen Wukong with something else, man. Protagonist possesses any other weapons, how the level up system works and what the skill tree looks like, and how many trans- but just because I haven't seen it doesn't mean he can't. And also, I love, <laughs> I love the kitty cat stage. I love like he's just rolling around in the blood. He looks so, I just love the kitty cat's design. It's like the bear is just like, it's pretty cool. It's like some of my favorite animals. Like, what if they did a duck? I like ducks, rabbits, is there a rabbit? Transformations and spells are available. All of these questions can only be answered once the game is finally released. Speaking of which, Black Myth Wukong is currently scheduled for release in the summer of 2024 for both PC oh, wow. and next generation console platforms. Okay. For more on your favorite games, keep it right here on IGN. Damn, dude. It looks pretty good visually. And, you know, mm, atmospherically, you know, like the world seems pretty cool. Yeah, it seems pretty interesting.